So Dream, if you couldn't see already, has been trending everywhere on every single social media lately. And I wouldn't be surprised if you were not able to catch up with everything that's happened these past few weeks. So I thought I might as well put together a little video to kind of explain and, you know, decrypt all these things pretty quickly, because there's a lot of them, so you could get informed and up to date with everything that's been happening in the SMP. The most recent situation was Dream's apparent dox. Someone was able to get a picture from him in his mother's kitchen and a picture of his mother's face, his elbow, and other things in his house hold and where he lived, then they could get a general idea of where he was. In fact, they were able to get hold of his name, both of his brother's and sister's names, the schools they went to as children, and even more scary things. Even their previous jobs, cars they owned, and their license plates. And by the way, license plates can tell you which state you're from. So Dream Stands, as usual, got out of hand and actually were trying to find his house and where he lived and everything. With a young audience like his, I know there's people who would literally die to see him. Like, unironically, they would die so they could meet this man in real life. But internet scalpers quickly took this stuff all down and were able to get all the information delete. Another recent situation was Dream's quote-unquote face reveal at the end of Mr. Beast's 2020 rewind that he made. The last three, four, five seconds of the video had this played clip right here. So that's what all the hype was around. Dream revealing his face to, uh, ironically, another mask. In what way is this exciting? Of course, there's a lot of intense buildup to the point, but then when it actually got revealed, somehow the situation was still trending. If you scrolled through YouTube about two days ago, all you would see would be photoshopped faces of real people onto Dream's body, making it look extremely realistic like it was his actual face. So you know how real clickbait YouTube videos go, and that was the ordinary. His face reveal really didn't have anything to do with his apparent docs, it was after another photo of his mother was leaked actually, so if you're going to think that, no, they do not have any correlation. Another theory people did catch on to was they actually believed that Mr. Beast was in fact Dream. I'm not kidding. People also believed it was Dream because Mr. Beast on his shopmrbeast.com area was also standing in what seemed to be the same location as Dream and it had the same arm length as him as well. But of course, the theory quickly subsided as people thought the inaccuracy and the very low chance of Mr. Beast actually being Dream. I mean, they both have different channels, of course, that's a very small thing. They're two different people, they sound different, they have different personalities, but you never know, but personally, I highly doubt they're the same person. Reciting all the RL drama with Dream, his SMP, of course, if you didn't watch three days ago, Technoblade's live stream where they bombed Manberg. Oh, forgot, Dream SMP stands, watch my videos, La Manberg, and what ended up happening was Dream ended up bombing the entire thing with a TNT machine after Technoblade held the entire city off for about a half an hour while he built it. The Manberg! So Tubbo's creation of Lemanberg and the entire government has fallen to Technoblade and Dream's work. And the reason Tommy in it is in the situation if you haven't noticed already was because he betrayed Technoblade, so yeah. He didn't take much liking to that to say the least. Other recent situations revolving Dream and all of his friends, that is, is Tommy Init battling the vegan teacher on TikTok. You heard me correctly. The vegan teacher attacked Tommy Init after he posted this video from TikTok. Hello, TikTok. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Then a few days later, the vegan teacher followed it up with this video right here. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you So that you was one of do. the most random callouts I've ever seen everywhere. I mean, the vegan teacher just likes to start beef with literally everybody. She's like that kid in fifth grade who will just throw hands at literally anybody they see. It doesn't matter if you're 3-7 or 8-1. That fifth grader is going to try to throw any insult at you that they can whatsoever. And that's this vegan teacher for you. But as we all know here, Tommy and its fan base is kind of younger. So, you know, they got really mad at this in the comment section. And then she actually ended up responding to all the drama. In it fans, what the f*** is the matter with you guys? You're losing your minds. I saw some of the duets that you guys did to that little 15 second video I did for him. You know the one where I was just trying to encourage him to become vegan? What the f*** are you guys doing? Some of you are crying. Some of you are punching the camera, going f***ing crazy. You're like, f*** off, stay away from Tommy. You know, he's at college, I'm a teacher. I'm allowed to talk to him. You know what you should be crying about? The on all of your plates. 
You've never been- Okay, so I'm just gonna cut her off right there. That is too much to listen to for one human to develop so many tumors at once from just hearing her voice. So basically, if you do not already know who the vegan teacher is, she's this weird woman who goes around on TikTok and tries to encourage young teenagers by swearing at them to become vegan and saying, all the animals you've killed in your life on the dinner table. It's, it's very weird, okay, to say the well, least. Well, as you watched, she clearly had some sort of anger towards Tommy in it or something. Because no one just randomly finds some YouTuber that they want to rant about to spread veganism. I mean, actually, that's something she would do, to be honest. But anyways, that response to 13 and 14 year old fans that Tommy in it has, cussing them out about veganism is mildly inappropriate, especially for someone who looks like they're 71. I mean, this is a teacher cussing out most likely people who are all students unless they dropped out. I mean, that's kind of wrong now that you think about it, and no wonder she lost her job. Now she's known as the crazed vegan woman who nobody likes on the platform putting even a worse of a rep on veganism. So yeah, she's kind of hurting her own cause here, isn't she? So yeah, a lot of drama has revolved Dream and Dream's situation along the SMP, his friends, and everything else in the past few weeks. He's a rapidly growing channel with a very thirsty fanbase, so of course his docs was very important to be rapidly taken off the internet. If you got this far in the video, I just want to say thanks for watching, maybe drop a like, hit the sub button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you do not miss another upload. And then other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.